far as our operation goes, our, our costs, if I had to categorize them, I'd say the most expensive right now would be our seed cost. Uh, followed closely by fertilizer, probably in third place would be our land cost. And uh, those top three basically take up maybe 80% of the cost we have involved with raising a crop. As far as cost on the seed, that's escalated a lot in the past 10 years. Um, to give you a basic example, you used to be able to buy fairly good seed for soybeans at about $20 per 50 pound bag. That price has escalated now in the past say, 10 years to upwards of $50 per 50 pound bag. And you figure about 55 to 65 or 70 pounds per acre. So to, to plant an acre of beans, you're looking at anywhere from $50 to $75 an acre. Uh, corn, on the other hand, is sold by, by count, basically, 80,000 seeds per count, or per bag. We plant about 32 to 34,000 seeds, and a lot of seed corn these days is running about $300 a bag. So doing the math, that's about $100 to $125 per acre to plant the corn. Gotten pretty heavy for those inputs. Uh, they're saying, okay, on that expensive corn, we're going to be getting hopefully 180 to 200 bushels per acre. Current market value at say six dollars per bushel, your gross is going to increase a lot to help pay for those fixed costs that you have, or fixed and variable. Is we have also the cash rent side of things that we haven't touched on yet. That's varied a lot. Fertilizer runs a close second at, uh, for corn, maybe uh, anywhere from $80 to $125 an acre. Soybeans, you're looking at possibly uh, $30 to $50 an acre for, for fertilizer for soybeans. Yeah, as far as cash rents, um, we have seen cash rents go from Say 10 to 15 years ago, averaging about 75 to 80 dollars an acre. We have seen that escalate in this area to anywhere from 150 to 225 dollars an acre. Um, purchased land, we bought a farm in 1997. We paid about a thousand dollars an acre for that. That same farm today, if we were to sell it, would go for around four thousand dollars an acre. Uh, we have no intention of selling because we farm. We want the land. But it makes it extremely hard for someone who's just getting started to come into a situation like that and say, okay, now I've got to put down how many dollars an acre just to be able to have something to farm. Uh, it's made it very difficult. It's, uh, farming has got to be an incredibly capital-intensive operation. The, the dollar amounts are staggering anymore. When you figure in your cash rent or cash rent equivalent to buy land and your fertilizer and your seed, machinery cost. It's, it, it takes a lot of pencil pushing sometimes to make it work. Um, our combine is, uh, we've got a 9500 John Deere, 1989 model. Um, it does the job and does it well. It cost us uh, about $30,000. We purchased it about three years ago. Um, the same size combine, 2012 model, is going to run you about $350,000 without any attachments. By the time you get attachments on it, it's closer to $400,000. So what a farm used to cost, now a combine costs that. That's quite amazing. Uh, machinery, um, we farm on what I would say is a low budget operation. We have uh, older machinery, but it's in pretty good shape. It does the job. It's reliable. I mean, you do end up doing some fixing. You pay for the repairs yourself instead of having warranty work. But um, for our operation, it works. We, we don't have a lot of acres to cover, so we tend to cut those costs by having slightly older machinery. Uh, the tractor we're standing in front of here today is uh, nearly as old as I am, but it does the job. It's uh, an old four-wheel drive, and it, uh, it pulls the load well, and it only cost us about a tenth of what a new one would cost. New four-wheel drives of this size were probably right today in the area of about $225,000 to $300,000. And uh, it's just incredible.
incredible how much that has escalated recently. And a lot of it is due to the cost of steel, the raw materials they make them out of. Uh, it also has a lot to do with the automation. They have so much automation and so much electronics on the new machines that uh, it's gotten to be a push button operation where in years past you had levers and wheels and pedals to step on. Now you have buttons to push right down to steering. You get to the end, you turn it around, you get it lined up again, you push a button and it steers it and takes it to the other end of the field. It's, it's pretty amazing. But uh, it's all in what you want to do. If you want to have the latest and greatest, it's going to cost you a great deal of money. Whereas if you want to kind of watch your input costs and you want to watch your bottom line, if you don't have a lot of acres to amortize that cost over, you go with a little cheaper machinery like we do probably.